Stephen Kelly from Southwest Survival. Like what I like to say is thank you very much for tuning in for another episode of our navigational series. Hopefully, so far you've got some value from this and you've learned some new skills which you can take away with you. And if you're out in the moors, you're out in the mountains navigating. Hopefully, you've got a bit more confidence in yourself. But uh, like I always ask, uh, if you don't mind, subscribe and give us a like, give us a comment at the end of this video. It's much appreciated. All the support is appreciated. But today, what we're going to go through today is grid magnetic angle. GMA, and this is the lesson, um, or this is the part what mainly gets a lot of people confused when it comes to map reading and navigational training. People get confused with it, so hopefully, I can get it to you in a layman's terms and you'll understand it. So, firstly, before we start talking about GMA, what you need to know is the norths and why you need to know them. So, the three types of norths you, you'll come across looking at your map is you've got your true north, your grid north. And your magnetic north and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go into each one and explain what they are so firstly we've got our true north the earth spins on an axis which passes through the north and south poles true north is the direction to the north pole from any position on the planet any angle bearing measured clockwise from true north will give you a true bearing true north is generally not used in basic map reading as it is so close to the grid north you can usually disregard it so that's a bit about true north. As long as you know what it is, it's the North Pole. Anything going up from any angle in the world, going up to the North Pole, that is your true north. Like so. Anywhere in the world. Sorry about my PowerPoint. Hopefully, hopefully it's all right for you. But anywhere in the world, and everything is just going to true north. Regardless of the bearings coming off it. Secondly, we've got grid north. So what's grid north is, is defined by the direction of the north pointing grid lines on a map. A grid bearing is any angle bearing measured clockwise from a grid north and is measured on a map. Like so. So that is your grid north, your lines on a map. So you've got your true north anywhere pointing to the north pole, your grid north, your lines pointing north on a map. Then last we have magnetic north. This is what's on your compass. So magnetic north is defined as the north end of the world magnet. The red end of the compass needle points towards the magnetic north. And magnetic north, I can't even say the word properly, magnetic north sits over in northern Canada. And that's where magnetic north points. So it doesn't point to the North Pole, it sits over Canada. So GMA grid magnetic angle so you've got your grid north and you've got your magnetic north so if you want to go from a magnetic bearing to a grid bearing we need to add in gma all right so you've got your your magnetic bearing we're, we're pointing at the physical feature on the ground we're pointing at the church now we need to put that mag bearing to a grid bearing onto your you need to convert this onto your map you need to use gma so it's going to be diff there's going to be a difference in it as you can see there. So before you can use a magnetic bearing on a map, you must change it into a grid bearing. So what we normally teach in the military, mag to grid, get rid, grid to mag add. Also, we may wish to convert the grid bearing we measure on a map to a magnetic bearing. We must then set on a compass for a march. So if we take a bearing off a map, all right, we want to be able to add the GMA on it. So grid to mag add, and then you want to be able to march on that to that. So say it's pitch black at night now, you need to get from this cross junction to a let's say a phone box which is a couple of kilometers away you're going to take a magnetic bearing. and you can't see that phone box because it's pitch black at night you're going to take a magnet you're going to take a grid bearing convert that into a magnetic bearing and march on it because grid north and magnetic north point in different directions there will be a difference the difference between grid and magnetic north is called gma so difference from grid north to magnetic north gma can be west or east Simple phrases to use, always remember this, and this is what I said, this is what we teach in the, the military. Mag to grid, get rid, grid to mad, add. And that's only if the GMA is in the west. So you get all this information on your map. When the GMA is in the east, like I think down in Cornwall now, it's getting quite close. So in two, three years, it'll be in the east. Uh, but only if GMA is in the west. If GMA is east, it's mag to grid, add. Grid to mag, get rid. But at the minute, we are at this. Simple phrases, mag to grid, get rid. 
grid to my guide. So if you're going for a magnetic bearing, you've, you've took a physical bearing to that church, now you want to put that bearing onto your map, you're going to go for a mag to grid, you're going to get rid of the GMA. If you're going from a grid bearing, you've took the bearing off the physically off the map, now you want to march and now you're going to go from a grid to mag, you're going to add the GMA. So how to find the GMA? Now this is what I want you to do now is open up your maps in front of you and you're going to start looking at the map marginal information. So here's how you'll find the GMA. So as you can see, you've got your grid north. True north, it's irrelevant for this, but you've got your magnetic north. So imagine looking at your map now. Your map is year 2000, all right? At the minute, in year 2000, your map marginal, on your map mileage information, your GMA is 40 mils west at this side. The annual change is one mils east, all right? So at the minute now, so this is getting smaller because it's squashing to grid north. All right, so it's 40 mils west, and you'll change one mil east. So every year, we're going to lose a mil. So it's going to be 39, 38, 37. So now it's 2020. What would the GMA be? Simple maths, isn't it? 20 years, one mil a year east. We're going to take 20 mils off that. So our angle of here now is getting close to grid north. All right, our angle of here and our GMA will be 20 mils west. So, how to find it on your maps? So all you do is look on your map margin information, as you can see here. Grid magnetic angle is 89 mils west of grid north in 1999. Annual change is 2 mils east. So there's a bit of maths for you now. So in 1999, our GMA was 89 mils west. Every year we've had 2 mils uh, going east. What is the GMA now in 2020? So I want you to work that out and write it down in the comments in this video. And that's what your GMA will be. And that's how easy it is to work out. Just read this. And, uh, and that's what you do. You're just working it out. Because if that west, then it's going east soon, all right? In a few more years, we're going to be in the east. And it's going to be going back around to west. That's it. Hopefully, hopefully I passed on the information easy enough for you. I know a lot of people struggle when it comes to GMA. Just always remember... Mag to grid, get rid, grid to mag, add. If you're taking a magnetic bearing, all right, you've took a magnetic bearing physically. Wait there, let me just take it back to a slab for you so you can see what I mean. So we'll work off this. 20 years, this map's 2000, 2000. The year now is 2020. In the year 2000, the annual change is 40, no, the, your GMA was 40 mils west. Annual change is one mils east. So within the year 2020, now our GMA is 20 mils, so we've worked that out. We've took a magnetic bearing to that church over there. I'm going to convert that to my map. So say the bearing was 3 to 100 mils. All I'm going to do is mag to get rid. I'm going to get rid of 20 mils. So 3 to 100, all right, what's it going to be? It's going to be 3, 180. And all I'm going to do is take 20 mils off my compass and then do a, a, do a grid bearing, and that is it. If I'm taking a bearing off my compass, say it was 3 to 100 mils off my map, and I want to convert that to a magnetic bearing, I'm going to add 20 mils on it and march on it. And that's simple. That's the simplicity of a GMA. Like I always say, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you got some value from that. If you don't mind, subscribe and liking and commenting. It'd be much appreciated. I'm just trying to grow my channel. Hopefully you all stay safe and I'll see you all soon. Bye.